Okay, this is Deb Twig over at the Lincoln Street School in Waverly, and what I'm showing you is a bunch of fourth grade projects that we have that are going to be brought into SRAC very soon. And actually, these are some of the fourth grade students coming along that actually made these. This is uh, teacher Robin Blauvelt, uh, one of the two teachers that were involved in this project, and they actually brought the students to SRAC all about a month ago, Robin? Yes. Great. So what I want to do is I just want to walk down through here and have Robin tell us about a couple of them. Just pick out a couple of your favorites. Well, this one here is my favorite because inside there's a lot of details, and he used little runts to make his, his uh, fruit and berries. Awesome. I thought that was kind of clever. And who made this one? This was Jason. Jason made this one. Awesome. And this is a longhouse, right, with the top that's up? A, that's a longhouse. I thought it was pretty clever how it comes open. You can see the inside. Awesome. Very awesome. Okay, another one? This one has a ton of details on the inside. Wow, this is a big it's one. It's huge. It's the biggest one we've ever gotten. Look at all the sticks he put together for this. Inside, there's several Oh, it's details. a her, Marissa. Yeah. Sorry. And then we look right in there. Wow. These are fourth graders, kids. Fourth graders doing amazing things, being inspired by their teachers. And how about one more? One more. I'm going to show you this one right up here. Okay. This totem pole. Awesome. And she actually painted it with berries. That is awesome. What was the girl's name? I'm sorry. Ellie. Ellie. Mm -hmm. And she painted this actually with berries. Wow. And there's a report that goes with most of these? Yes. Okay, if I can get Kathy to stand over here too. For what reason? Oh, just because <laughs> we want to. Um, yeah, and Kathy, why don't we have you show us a couple real quick. Basically, um, these are all going to be in SRAC, and we are going to allow people to vote um, by putting a penny in a jar for anyone that they prefer, and all the pennies, all the money that raised will go to the Lincoln Street School. Nice. So, Kathy, if you just show us a couple. Okay. I also have a student do a totem pole with... Awesome. Um, Black clay. Awesome. Which is really good. He did. And, and what was his name? His name is Austin. Ah, oh, that's he did awesome, a Austin. He as well and explained what the colors meant and what each of the animals signify. Great. And any other ones you want to show me real um, quick? Well, I have a different one than this as well. I had a young man not only make a canoe, um, a, the canoe and the oars, but he did a written report that explained to his classmates the process. So awesome. He, had, he did have some help from his aunt, which is what The birch bark canoe. He did. We encouraged them to work with their family. That's great. Um, a lot of long houses, just like Mrs. Blavout's class. A couple wigwams. But yep, they really I see a wigwam part. there. That's awesome that they did both. Wow, even a teepee over there. And they all know the different, like the Iroquois longhouse yeah. versus the Algonquin wigwam and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. I take it? Yeah. That is great. Well, listen, I look forward to having this all up to SRAC in the next week or so. And folks, come out and cast your votes.